It's very difficult to know if indeed Jonathan Pollard is going to be released this time. Um, he, he has a procedural advantage this time that after 30 years, the assumption is that he should be released in parole unless the state proves that he should not be. Um, but we don't know what happened in the hearings. We don't even know how many hearings there were. We don't know if there will be more hearings. We don't know who the commissioners are. We don't know what the commissioner's stance is. And we don't even know what the government said. Um, what the, the, the Obama administration presented to um, the commissioners. So we don't know um, what their ultimate decision will be. Uh, all, saying all that, I, I have to add that the, all the rumors that we're seeing in the media suggest to me that the Obama administration believes that he is likely to be freed. It would be very difficult for the president to block the release if the parole board decides to release uh, 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 Jonathan Pollard. The, the point of time at which the president can oppose a release is at the hearings in front of the parole board. And at those hearings, the president and his lawyers can present the case that Jonathan Pollard is still a danger and that he still holds information that should not be released. That, that hearing apparently has already happened. It apparently happened earlier this month. And so once that hearing has already happened and the, 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 all the information is in front of the commissioners, there are very, very few options for the president to block it. If the, if the board decides to approve the parole, um, the president is going to have to accept that decision. Professor Bell, from your experience, can you share with us your feeling about this deal? Finally, we're going to see Jonathan Pollard in Israel? I think this is the most optimistic that uh, I've ever been. Let's understand. First of all, Jonathan Pollard received a life sentence, and at the time, the government lawyers asked that he would never receive parole. What the sentence actually was was a life sentence, but with the possibility of parole. He was eligible for parole already 20 years ago, and he did not receive it. And he has asked in the past to receive parole, and he has not received parole. But this time, the procedure is in Jonathan Pollard's favor. The state has to make its case. And the, all these rumors that are coming, not from Israelis, but from the Obama administration, that clearly does not want him released, all these rumors coming out suggest to me that they fear that they have lost this case. And if they fear that they've lost, that means that there's a really good chance that Jonathan Pollard is going to be freed and we're going to see him in Israel.